It's a job with incredible power, but also a lot of responsibility. In fact, it's a job a lot of us simply couldn't do. Of course, we're talking about being a police officer. The sight of a cop can be intimidating to most people, but they're just regular people like you and me. In fact, we have 10 confessions from police officers that help show they are, for the most part, just regular men and women doing a difficult job. Now, we can't just show these confessions to anyone, so please be sure to get the proper clearance by pressing that big red subscribe button. While you're at it, be sure to activate the notifications so you're always in the know when it comes to our future releases. They don't believe you. Their job is to maintain order and keep the peace. If we break a minor law, we get a ticket. If we do something major, it's their job to take us to jail. This all means that your average police officer needs to be able to assess a situation and make an impartial judgment with the law in mind. That can be a big responsibility. From busting speeders to taking down a drug dealer, one cop's confession reveals a key point. They pretty much think we are all liars. Okay, so you might not consider yourself a liar, but according to one officer, 99.9% .9 of people lie when they face a possible ticket or arrest. Whether it's, oh, I thought the speed limit was 50, or those drugs you found in my pants aren't mine, they've heard it all before. In fact, like a mother or father seeing through their child's lie, police have gotten pretty good at seeing through most offenders' attempts to get off the hook. So just tell the truth and things are likely to go a lot easier for everyone. Quotas. You may have heard the offhand remark from a friend or family member to be careful driving somewhere near the end of the month because the local police force needs to fill a quota of tickets or arrests to look good. Officially, no police force will admit to this. Unofficially, however, there are the odd confessions of police who do admit that they are encouraged to keep numbers up when it comes to fighting crime. On the one hand, this can be a result of pressure from government officials or mayors who want to see hard figures that their police officers are keeping the street clean. On a far shadier side, things go beyond just padding the numbers for the politicians. In some areas, arrests that result in confiscation of property can result in an auction. Guess where the money from that auction goes? That's right, back into the police department. As a result, according to one alleged confession, some police forces have a tendency to confiscate a lot of stuff through arrests. All of this then, coincidentally, gets converted into money which helps to fund the force. That kind of sounds like a conflict of interest to us. They are worried. You may have been in such a situation. A police officer pulls you over on the side of the highway, or maybe they call you over because they want to ask you something. Even though you're not a hardened criminal, you still likely get a little nervous. After all, they have the guns and the authority to make life really difficult. Just keep this in mind, however, that they don't know you and what sort of situation you are going to present to them. As one police officer confessed, they are people too. Those men and women in uniforms are fathers, mothers, sons, and daughters. They have families they leave every morning. They also know their job as a certain level of unpredictability, which could see a routine traffic stop turn into a gunfight. Whereas your job is likely filled with routine and predictability, this officer confesses that their line of work comes with a higher risk that they may never head home to their fiance, spouse, or children. As a result, police officers are naturally worried every time they say goodbye to their families or need to approach a stranger during their shift. Speeding. Think back to when you first got your driver's license. Before stuff came naturally to you, it was a real challenge to keep that car inside the lines, check those mirrors, and maintain a good and legal speed. Then as you gain more confidence, your foot likely started to get a bit heavier and that needle on the speedometer crept up. Don't feel too bad. The vast majority of people end up speeding. In fact, the short-term cure for this tends to be a dose of red and blue lights with a ticket. In all seriousness, however, one cop confesses that when it comes to speeding, there actually is no set limit. Yes, they want you to do the limit right on, but on open roads, this officer confessed that he would be willing to allow 20 over the limit to pass. Furthermore, if a speed limit has recently been changed, this same officer says they give leeway when it comes to motorists adjusting to the change. However, this is not an unwritten law and can vary from officer to officer. And if you do get caught going way over the limit, well, you better have a stellar excuse. Background checks. The general consensus among statisticians is that there are roughly 900,000 sworn law enforcement officers in America. That makes for decent odds that you will run into one outside of their working hours. For instance, that person you're going on a first date with may have a parent who is a police officer. Even better, that person you are dating might be a cop. Oh no. What if they find out you got arrested years before during a rather embarrassing situation? 
Well, we hate to break it to you, but according to one police officer, odds are they already know. That's because the officer confessed that they do check the names of people they are dating or even the names of people who are dating family members. Some may consider this a violation of privacy, but if we're being honest, if we had that ability, we'd be checking out every single one of our friends. Of course, if you're the one with a prior arrest record, it's not so cool for you. Then again, if you get a second date, that means your little past incident is just that, a thing of the past. All right, now that we have pulled over, it's time for our quiz. We all worry about seeing those red and blue lights in our rear view mirror, but do you know your chances of getting a ticket during the year? Is it A, 20%, B, 40%, or C, over 50%? Think about the answer while you fetch us your license and registration. No way out. Earlier, we mentioned that one of the most common ways you're going to run afoul of the law is by some sort of traffic violation. Now, according to one officer's confession, there's no set speed at which people decide to pull you over, and you can often get away with going at least a little over the limit. However, according to our next officer, once those lights go on and they have decided you're getting pulled over, their decision is pretty much etched in stone. That means that during the long walk up to your car, this police officer has already decided whether or not you are getting a ticket or just a warning. No amount of excuses, crying, or arguing is going to change a thing. In fact, it could make it worse. According to this police officer, the pre-decision to stick you with a ticket or simply let you off isn't a result of them being a heartless robot. Instead, they argue that they are ordered to enforce the laws and it's fair to everyone if they deal with that impartially. But hey, you can always try the really extreme excuse if things are desperate. The elderly. Well, now we're going to go and totally contradict that previous police officer's confession. Using the Whisper app, one officer confessed that they are willing to turn a blind eye when it comes to the elderly. The officer in question says that they treat elderly lawbreakers a bit different than the young whippersnappers. If this is to be believed, then if you are eligible for the early bird special or cheap tickets at the movies, you are apparently also entitled to some get out of jail free cards. The confessor pretty much thinks that anyone who is old has already paid their dues in life and deserves a break. Of course, this is likely to cause a lot of disagreement among us younger, potential lawbreakers. Now, before you get all angry, keep in mind this likely refers to little incidents like going five miles over the limit or swerving across the dotted line on the road. We're pretty sure this doesn't apply in any way should grandma and grandpa stick up a bank or run a secret gambling den in the basement of their retirement home. Bribery. Police often refer to themselves as being the thin blue line between society and the lunatic fringe. That is, they are that defense that keeps the majority of us safe from the real troublemakers. But what happens when a police officer is one of the real troublemakers? Unfortunately, it does happen, and it makes the rest of the police look really bad. For instance, just this year, one Jersey City police officer confessed to taking bribes and unauthorized payments. Anthony Ianako confessed to taking money from companies in exchange for allowing them to operate work sites without an off-duty police presence. This is a big problem, not only because he accepted $55,000 under the table, but also because the various companies sidesteps having to pay police to monitor their properties or events. Unfortunately, corruption like this does occur when an officer is looking for an easy tax-free bonus and the business they are dealing with are looking to get around regulations. Ianako now faces possibly spending five years in jail and a fine of $250,000. Yikes. Not all bad. While we're on the topic of bribes, we have another slightly different confession. Again, using the Whisper app, one police officer took the time to get a massive weight off their conscience. Apparently, they too had accepted a bribe. For some reason, the officer in question pulled over a car on the road. After approaching the car and likely going through all the usual license and registration business, this sworn officer of the law accepted a gift from the passenger. So what was it? A wad of money to make the ticket go away? A promise of high-end electronics or other goods? Not so much. The passenger turned out to be a five-year-old and the bribe was a Tootsie Roll. According to the officer, he accepted the Tootsie Roll and let the driver off with a warning. Now, in all likelihood, the driver was only going to get a warning anyways. After all, if all it takes to get off a ticket is some candy, then we're dropping by the store before our next road trip. They are human. As incredible as it sounds, police officers aren't actually assembled in some government factory. Yes, they are humans with actual pumping hearts. Even more, every single police officer you will ever meet was at one time a teenager who enjoyed loud parties that potentially upset the neighbors. This human side is definitely shown by one officer who confessed they felt awful every time they had to go and break up a house party. After all, 
there's every chance that was them at the party just a few years before. Basically, this officer confesses that breaking up fun parties sucks, but in a democracy, the laws are meant to protect the majority, and the majority doesn't want to listen to your damn dubstep music. We definitely believe this confession because there are many examples of officers handling such situations with a lot of understanding. Take Canadian Constable Clark as an example. The Peel Region officer responded to a house party that was upsetting the neighbors. Clark told the partiers the situation, rocked on the drums for one set, and then told the group they had to shut it down after a couple more songs. Everybody wins. So, do you know what the chances are that you'll get a ticket this year? Is it A, 20%, B, 40%, or C, over 50%? The answer? A 20%. On average, 41 million people are ticketed every year, which means there's a 1 in 5 chance of you getting pulled over. Of course, if you obey the laws, that decreases your chances quite a lot. Well, everything seems to check out, so you are free to go. Of course, if you feel like sticking around, we always have more videos related to law enforcement. From craziest chases to cops who broke the law, the richest has you covered. Just remember, whatever you do, be sure to pick up your belongings before you go and hit that subscribe button so we know you're checked out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.